Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario 2, The Thousand Year Door. And I bet I'm gonna get a lot of people like, It's not Paper Mario 2, it's just Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. It's the sequel to Paper Mario, and Thousand Year Door takes a while to say, so I will probably say Paper Mario 2. So, there's not a whole lot over on this side of the Rogueport sewers, but that's where we are this episode. Aha! Uh -huh. Welcome, Mario! If you wish for me to look for the item you seek, speak to me from across the table. She's basically like Merlovely from the first game. She can look for star pieces, shine sprites, or badges that are lying out. Star piece. Uh, <laughs> always check behind stuff. That's where pretty much every star piece is. Anywho, so we're exploring the Rogueport sewers, which apparently there is the ancient town down here. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got with you there? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like you that. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sees us like that, nobody. Let's get him! Well, that's not good. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel you like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. I think I will take advantage of that because I want to tattle on these guys. So here for tattle, you actually have to press A when the cursor lines up. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem, it says here Goombas are the underlings of underlings. That is totally rude! Their maximum HP is 2, they have an attack power of 1 and a defense of 0. And I like how it says where all the different locations where you can find them. So here, various. They appear in multiple places. Anywho, now we can see that person's HP. And that now will work for all Goombas. So, that's very sweet. So as you can see, I'm doing the action commands to defend against these guys, and you'll notice the spiny Goomba, because of his spike, deals more damage. We can't have that now, can we? That's a spiky Goomba! A spiky-headed Goomba! What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh! Yes, thank you, Goombella. So now we're actually getting into, like, main battle for combat. <laughs> uh, and that's what happens when you don't do the action command. Also, if you press A at certain times during moves, you'll get a little stylish thing there, and then that'll come into play later. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and then it'll totally plummet. That's where we're gonna jump. Yeah, so the, I'll probably be doing a lot of stylish moves from now on. Once we get star power, doing stylish moves will boost your star power a little bit. Howie! Ha! Later on, losers! That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Thanks. Also, I love Goombella. She's so sassy and awesome. That's weird. We'll have to come back for that later. So if we go back here, there's a platform moving back and forth. We are going to want to jump on that. Whee! That's right, there are platforming aspects in this as well. I like the Rogue Port Sewers a bit more than the Toad Town Tunnels, which is nice. First Strike! Yeah! A nice thing about First Strike in this 
you actually get to do the full-on move instead of just the most basic of moves. <laughs> so, just like that, the battle's over. Hey, dude, over here. <laughs> I actually hit him with my hammer. Nice. <laughs> oh, stylish. There's a nice badge that lets you know when to do the uh, when to press A to perform stylish moves, but I'll try to explain them as I go. Oh, HP, that's nice. Collecting hearts in this gives HP to both Mario and the partner. Because as you'll notice, Goombella has her own HP in this. It's not like the original Paper Mario, where if your partner took damage, they were just knocked out for a turn. I actually like that. And we get a mushroom! Noise. You got an item! You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Heart points. Press start or pause to choose the items for your gear screen and see your items. You can also push up on this uh, D-pad to do that as well. Nice. King of First Strikes. So if you press A the instant the hammer touches the guy, you get, um, uh, you'll do a stylish point and uh, backflip. Then if you press A again as soon as you touch the ground, you'll do another stylish. Nice, we're up to 4 HP. And we get a fire flower. Nice. We can clear those out with our hammer. If we go this way, wow. That's a bit too big to hit with our hammer. Same with that. We'll come back there at a later date. But anyways, let's go down here, shall we? Oh, and there's that block again. And of course, you know, Star Piece hidden behind them. Who was that? We'll find out later. In the meantime, more enemies to be had. I thought these guys looked really cool until I realized they have giant buck teeth. That's a little less cool. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made out of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP 3, attack 1, defense 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee I will try. Likewise, when you're jumping on an enemy, if you press A at the peak of your jump, you will do a stylish point. Nice. I feel like the battles are a bit slower in this, which is unfortunate. That's okay, though. This finally gives us the opportunity to show off Goombella's normal attack that's not Tattle. It's Head Bonk. It's basically Mario's jump. Later, loser! If we jump around here, there's something special. Yep, there it is! You get the pretty lucky badge! When Mario is attacked, it causes enemies to sometimes miss. This is the first example of a badge we get. We have free BP route now. This takes two BP to equip. Sweet. There are only a small handful of hidden blocks in the game, so don't worry about it too much. Let's hit the switch. <laughs> Once again, just one of the many examples of the fact that everything's made of paper. We can't do anything if they flap paper out now. We can later, though. Once again, weird's pedestal. And hey, we get the black key! A strange black key, but what could it be for? I saw that on the way up, and I figured I might as well. Let's go for here. Well, this uh, looks ominous. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah! Everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in the box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? 
Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get past those bad guys. So, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. You probably can't see it, but the guy in front of the TV can. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, old great legendary hero. Oh, we got the key. I feel bad for him. Let's let him out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes! Oh man, I owe you big. Yes! Thank... Ha! Thank nothing! Wee-hee! Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What, you think I was going to help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box! Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed. Wee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! <laughs> Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee! <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So to be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> yes, I get it. It's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee <laughs> hee I love that part. So, uh... Wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? So he basically just gives you a free ability, but tries to pretend it's a curse. It's awesome. So yeah, if you press Y here... Holding down, and you'll fly downwards. If you pull back, then you'll fly upwards for a little bit. But keep in mind, physics, you'll eventually start flying downwards again. So it's just about getting in the rhythm. It's pretty easy. Ooh. Oh, Mario, Kumbala, look at that! It's the thousand-year door spoken of in the legends! I can't believe it's real! So the legends are all true! There it is, big as life! Come, let's move closer. There should be a star piece in here somewhere, though. Ooh, it's got a save point here. That's very nice. Big room with tons of crumbling stuff. There's gotta be a star piece in here. Maybe there's not a star piece in here. Hey, what's the deal with that weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? We'll get there eventually. I'm looking for star pieces. Okay, nothing. Oh. That's a really cool effect. Professor, what's going on? Okay, this panoramic scene where you're just spiraling around the room is amazing. Oh, well, 
this looks interesting. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. And the special moves are amazing. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it says, looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> hmm. Aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? I've already done this, no thanks. This is very important. You'd better listen, I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be bound, found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. The pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, actually? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? The Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? You can see what by my words, right? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority would be to catch up with her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach! Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gain. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the travels of the road. Of course, if anything happens to you and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor! Well, Mario, we're off! Yeah, we are. Got a star piece in here? Nope. This yellow bucket's special. If you miss a tattle in one of the worlds, uh, chances are it can end up in the rubbish bin, which is kind of cool. Wait just a moment! And we get the Power Smash Badge! Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No! I know this! Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? No. By the way, you need flower points, FP, to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. So one cool thing we can do, if we press right on the D-pad, it'll take us quickly to the badges menu. And what do you know, it takes one BP to equip a Power Smash badge, so we are now out of BP. Also, I love these optical illusions. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bonk you! Bandits are so annoying. Oh, well, you look special. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places. Now I'm done talking for now. 
Cool. If we jump up here, we get a star piece. Much like in the original Paper Mario, star pieces you can trade for badges to a certain person named Dazzle. We can't reach Dazzle yet, but we will eventually. Alright. So one thing I'm going to try, I haven't tried this before. There's a guard over here that we can fight. Now you're supposed to not be fight him until after you beat Petal Meadows, but I'm going to try fighting him now. Whoa, whoa, hold up now, you're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without pain, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip your butt good. I'm not, I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Oh, hey! So this introduces the audience gimmick. In Paper Mario Fasten Your Door, you have an audience. Depending on how well you do in battle, they can actually help you out by giving you star power. So right off the bat, I am going to power smash Gus. Check out all the stylish points you can do if you only if you do a special hammer attack. Let's tattle on Gus. I can't believe Luigi's our only party member. That's amazing. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everybody. Max HP is 20, attack is free, and defense is zero. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stop on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yeah, so he's pretty tough, especially since Goombella can't really help you out all that much. Also, the background can fall. <laughs> I forgot about that. So yeah, as you can see, because I'm doing pretty well, the audience is growing. And this is one of the little roulettes here. If I can get a flower... Okay, if you get a flower, it would have completely healed my FP. And if you get three in a row, your the audience gets completely filled. Okay, so one thing you can do is appeal. That's like focus from the original game, where you basically appeal to the audience and they'll give you star points. I'm going to choose to defend. Ouch. Ha! <laughs> that hurt. You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So you better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. I love how this guy's giving you a tutorial. Also, one kind of annoying thing about Thousand in Your Door is if you just kind of do nothing in battle, just hang around here like me talking right now, the audience will get mad and can throw stuff at you. That's not very good. I'm going to put Goombella out front since she can't even attack him anyways, and she is going to defend. So hopefully she'll take the brunt of the attacks while I can focus on just hammering him. So as you can see, she only took two damage from that because she was defending. And <laughs> that time she only took one damage because I actually did the action command. Okay, Gus actually isn't too bad to beat. As long as you got the right strategy down. Sorry, Goombella. <laughs> I know this isn't ideal, but... Take that, Gus. So now Goombella's in danger as well, unfortunately, but she's okay. Woohoo! Take that, Gus. Oh, no, no, shoot! I forgot! <laughs> I got beat up Luigi! That's amazing. Okay. Okay, yeah. Goomba was holding a rock. He was going to throw that at me, so I pressed X and I actually can get rid of him. Luigi was going to help me, so I should not have pushed X at that point. So that was my bad. Sorry, Luigi. I always do that, too, and Luigi tends to give you really good stuff, so... <laughs> whoops. We're both beaten up, but we beat Gus and got quite a few star points for doing so. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff! It's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? He's kind of got a point. Hey, dude. I said, hey, dude. This is East Rogueport. This is the turf of Ishnail and his crew of Robos. 
The east side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. Well, now we can at least reach the east side. Gus will never come back there again. It's locked from the inside. Well, that's not good. Hey, green hippo. That trouble center is the only place in the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Is it open? Trouble Center, I'm out of the office, please come again. So there's no point in even getting rid of Gus at this point. I was trying to get to the Trouble Center because I thought Gus was guarding it and you could do it from the beginning, but you can't. Oh well, at least I got more uh, star points for that. <laughs> Let's see if my contact lens has come in. I highly doubt it, but man can dream. Nope, no contact lens. That's okay, though. Oh man, I forgot that there's like nothing in Rogueport until you beat Petal Meadows, pretty much. Like, there's so... There's so much stuff that doesn't even appear until you try. Alright... No, I don't think there's anything down here. There's that guy, but I'm not going to talk to him just yet. I want to wait till I have more money. It's important to have a lot of money when you talk to that guy. The more, the better. But make sure you talk to him before, I think, World 3. Maybe World 2? I don't know. Well, we're beat up. And the problem is, in this, when you're beat up, you pretty much have to pay money in order to get your HP back. You'll need to use, like, items, like, there are the heart blocks from the original game, but you still have to pay for those. There's the inns, which you have to pay for. The only free way is to get a level up. So now that we've got the airplane ability, we can go over here. Oh, there's Spike Goomba down there that I'd like to beat up. Because I'm such a good person. I love how the audience is filled with Goombas, and they're rooting for me beating up the other Goombas. Some audience members will tend to do better stuff to you, whereas like the more evil ones will tend to pretty much only throw rocks at you. So keep an eye out for that. And like I said, if you do well in the battle, like doing all the action commands, doing stylish moves, then audience members will like you, and more audience members will come. Whereas if you do dumb stuff like fail the action commands, then they will tend to throw stuff at you. What's this? Hmm, seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? You could jump on it, but you totally ruin your shoes, so I just hammer it. Okay. Bloop, bloop! Ouch, the hurt! Oh my! We're just fighting the Ultra Blooper right from the get-go, aren't we? Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop! Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's in a world of hurt. I, I really am, because... Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can push press Y to put me in front. Well, both of our HP has dropped, actually, so that's not good. I'm gonna do my special move. Sweet treat! This can boost up our HP and FP. So unlike in Paper Mario 1, the special moves you actually have to do stuff for, so I have to push the left stick in order to throw stuff. You don't want to hit the poison mushrooms, because that stuns you for a bit. But that's okay. Ooh! That shy guy's holding something good. I will let him do that. We get an HP drain! Thank you, shy guy. That's very nice of you. Let's tattle on the blooper. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy! I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky fiends. Gross, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It's attacks with tentacles and ink. 
Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time! By the way, the tentacles each have free HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper! Ouch. Ouch. That is very rude. So just get rid of its tentacles first. So yeah, as I'm doing stylish moves, the audience is just boosting my star power naturally. Oh, the booper's crying. That's not nice. Oh yeah, pretty lucky. Let me see if I can do the Goombella style. You have to press A right before she jumps. Just like that. He's on the ground! Now's our chance. Well, that was bad. <laughs> and the stage light fell on us! But that electrified her, so now if the blooper physically da uh, touches her, he will take damage. That's very nice. Oh, man. I love the paper style of this game. It's so good. And as you can see, we are already getting our... Yeah, we already got our star point back. And we didn't even have to appeal at all. Granted, if you don't do stylish moves, you still... As long as you do the action command properly, you still get a few star points back. Oh, boy. So that this... Uh, we get a bingo here. That would normally completely replenish our star gauge. But regardless, we're going to get a maxed out audience now. Which is great for replenishing star points and for getting items. Ew! That's gross, dude. Take that blooper, buddy! 20 star points. Bloop bloop! And that's the last we see of bloopers in this game. A little sad. I like bloopers. Nice thing is if your partner falls in the water, they don't take damage, unlike you. Sweet. Alright, this looks like the pipe. Let's go down. And we start Chapter 1. Castle and Dragon. This is an awesome chapter. Welcome to Petal Meadows. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure! This is completely awesome! But man, I'm really tired. Can we take a break? Yes, we can, Goombella, because that's all the time we have for this episode. Anyways, oh hey, mushroom in a tree. Nice. I didn't know mushrooms grow on trees. And a star piece in a tree. Sweet. Okay, seriously, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I hope to see you for the next episode. We will be going through Petal Meadows. It's sure to be a hoot and three quarters. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless. Ooh.